Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming a July favorites. This is my first July favorites or favorites video in general. I like to watch these videos every now and again and um, yeah, I thought I'm gonna start this month since I bought a few things online and that I really enjoyed and they're all vegan, cruelty free and great. So I thought I'll share all the things that I really enjoy this month. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I bought um, the Real Techniques, the Real Techniques um, basic set or thing, something, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I'm going to link down below what the set is. And I bought it online here in Thailand from Sephora. So for any tourists or phalangs. Uh, foreigners living in Thailand, yeah, you can get cool things at Sephora and they send it within one day It was really pretty epic. I ordered it and then the next day it was there already and you can even do um, Pay on delivery, which is pretty cool if you don't have a account with a Thai bank You just type in your address they deliver it and you just pay the mail guy and that's it super easy the brushes came in a set of four four brushes. Sorry they're a little bit dirty, I used them this morning. And they came in this little bag, which is quite cool because you can just flip it and pull this toggle and then it stands up if you need to clean the brushes and you can put them upside down so they can dry. And um, these brushes are vegan, they're synthetic bris bristle, th synthetic hair and they clean really nicely, they're super soft. They're much smaller in real life than what they look on camera. My favorite though is this buffing brush to just buff in my mineral foundation. It, I don't know, it buffs really nicely and it's, it's soft and nice size. Anyways, let's get to the next one. I also ordered from Sephora um, the, this mascara. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I don't know if that's true, but <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I really love it. It looks like this when you open it. Um, so it's like an hourglass shape. And um, this is vegan, cruelty free, and it's really great. I love this mascara. I'm a big mascara fan. Like, if, if I have to choose one thing to put on my face, it'll be mascara because otherwise my eyes look tiny and my eyelashes are just very blonde at the tips. So literally half of my eyelashes are blonde, so it's nice to have this great mascara. Also, it doesn't flake or break off or anything like it sits in place the whole day and it comes up easily. And if it rains, it doesn't even smudge or anything. Like I love it. It's not waterproof or anything, but it literally is. It rains so often here and I get into so much rain and it doesn't run anywhere. I've used lots of other vegan mascaras, but um, <clears throat> they're like like organic and um, all of this stuff. This one is obviously not organic and has some chemicals in it and stuff, but what can you do? Um, anyway, so the, the mascaras that I used to use, they would, as soon as it would start raining, it would just like, oh, my whole face would be black. <laughs> And they just didn't give me the length and volume I was looking for. But this one gives like within just one like layer you get a lot of um, volume and length which I love. So you can do just one layer or like several layers depending on how thick you want it to be. Um, next I ordered, this, I was so 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 oh, oh, excited to buy this. But I was also hesitant, I'm like a little bit of a freak when it comes to that. Um, when I order things, or in general when I buy things, I only buy them if I really, really, really need them in my life. So generally even if I go shopping somewhere, I'll go to the, all the shops first and then see what I really liked and what stuck in my head and um, what I feel like I need in my life right now or what I don't have yet. Even then sometimes I'll go home or I'll put the, the items aside then I go back to the shop ask them to put it aside for one day and then I go home and think okay what what stuck with me what do I really want 
And I think that's actually a good thing. Maybe it's not such a freakish thing. Maybe more people should do that so that you actually really only buy what you need and you don't end up having a closet full of things that you don't actually end up wearing. Anyways, let's go a little bit closer. I'm getting so far away. Anyways, so um, I found this online Etsy shop called Moonrise Creek. I found it through this um, awesome, awesome, beautiful uh, mom on Instagram. Her name is New Earth Mom, New Earth Mama, sorry. And um, she posted a picture of the items that she ordered online, and I just con it immediately like resonated with me. I was looking, I was looking for a nice um, face wash and moisturizer. Uh, since I don't have one and I'm really for that I will not buy any um, commercial products I will only buy vegan organic and all of that good stuff I will not compromise on that um, so I checked it out and it's absolutely beautiful they shop their stuff looks so nice and I clicked some on some things that I wanted and then they were in my basket for like I think two, three weeks or something because I was just like oh it's so expensive like the products themselves are not expensive but depending on where you live the um, shipping fees are really high it's like almost half of the price of the product or even almost the same as the product um, so I was like should I get it, should I not, should I get it, should I not then I was thinking I'm gonna get it because I needed a new um, foundation, I wanted to try out a blush and I needed a face wash and things like that so I put down the things that I really wanted and I ordered it and it came quite quickly it comes from America, they're in America and I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely over the moon I bought this face wash from them Moonrise Creek comes with this pump bottle um, head it's um, four ounce I think I don't know what that is in milliliters can they not just start using milliliters liters and not all that ounce pounds inches anyways this is a purifying face wash um, it has lime tea tree ro rose geranium and fur in it and refines complexion removes impurities so all of this stuff uses only herbal things and um, essential oils, organic um, and natural ingredients. And I literally just use the tiniest pump, like this much in height maybe, of product and just wet my hands a little bit and it's like really creamy, it's almost like a cream but as soon as you um, rub your hands it becomes a little bit soapy and it, oh, it feels really nice on your face and it smells really good and I already feel like my skin has cleared up a little bit more like I don't have a lot of pimples but I've got redness and like little blackheads and stuff and I feel like it has already helped with that and it's only been like four days so maybe I'm just imagining things but it feels amazing my skin feels really hydrated after that and soft after that um, I put on this anti-aging serum anti-aging I mean I'm 25 now I don't need it yet but I just like the ingredients in it and um, the other moisturizer wasn't vegan and this is vegan and yeah I just wanted to try this out so what you do is you rub it in your hands like this and then it comes in this little syringe thingy and you literally also just need like I think I use like one, two, three, four drops and then you just massage it into your face in an upward motion you wanna like lift your face you know you wanna get rid of all those wrinkles and it's anti-aging serum, lavender, geranium and rose and I love geranium love it it's really good for your heart as well if you have any like emotions that you hold on to like we we often hold on to them in our heart or in our stomach and rose geranium helps you to connect to your heart connect to your emotions and i just love um geranium essential oil and it says that it's earth magic and plant wisdom nourishing healing wrinkle fighting firming vitamin rich blend it just makes your face feel epic 
And let me tell you that it just feels super smooth like a baby's bum and it just smells divine as well and I'm super happy with that then I also bought this how cute is the packaging though as well I love it and um, this mineral foundation uh, Earth Mineral Cosmetics Mineral Foundation Powder in the color Fair it's a little bit light for me but I don't mind because you can just use your bronzer to make yourself look a little bit more tan so it gives you a nice dewy look it's a bit shiny but it's like almost like a, like highlighting um this is how it looks but i really like it it feels super soft on the skin it doesn't even feel like you're wearing any product um it it it's also just filled with good things so it's actually good for your skin if you have it on there it's working its magic on your skin so what else do you want from a foundation i think that's pretty cool um, and it says an all-natural vegan powder that provides glowing coverage with a light clean feel while promoting clearer skin and creating a healthy luminous complexion that's literally what it does um, formulated without chemicals parabens toxins fillers or synthetics ingredients are mica money tapioca powder iron oxide and titanium dioxide that's it made in the u.s 15 milliliters and i really like it i'm i really like it <laughs> that's all i can say then my last favorite thing in july is homemade granola get some this is freaking delicious i will make a recipe video on this this is my chocolate berry granola I put some cranberries in there, focus, cranberries are in there, and goji berries, and hazelnut, raisins, oats, chocolate powder, here it crunch. And I don't even have an oven. This is all made in my dehydrator. Mm. If you don't have an oven, which is probably not the case, more people don't have a dehydrator instead of an oven. Just put your dehydrator on the highest setting and let it sit there overnight and it comes out super crunchy without getting burnt or anything. I love it. Put it on my smoothie balls or just eat it as a snack. And it's really nice. It's cheaper than making your own. You know, there's no extra sugars in there or anything. I use dates to sweeten it. And yeah. Oh, okay. I use days to sweeten it and it tastes great. Mm, I got stuck, stuck in my teeth. So if you want to see a recipe for homemade chocolate granola, let me know, I will make a recipe video. Even if you don't want to see it, I'll probably make a recipe video anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are my July favorites. So it was the brush, mascara, face wash, anti-aging serum, foundation, mineral powder, and granola. Those are my July favorites that I've been loving this month. And maybe you wanna check out the Moonrise Creek Etsy shop. Maybe you wanna check out Too Faced. These are all, again, vegan and cruelty-free product, cruelty products. Uh, the granola is vegan, it's sugar-free, not fat-free because I put hazelnuts in, but we need a little bit of healthy fats to keep us healthy for our hormone levels and all these things. So that's it for my July favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you want to let me know what your favorites are this month. And I will see you next time. Have a most beautiful day. Please like, share, subscribe. Do all these beautiful things. And I'll see you next time. Bye.